Hello friends, this is Satish Nikam and today we are going to discuss about the designing of parallel adder cum subtractor circuit. Before going to start the parallel adder cum subtractor design, you should know some basic things and that we are going to revise in this slide. You must know the truth table and symbol of XOR gate. Now you know the symbol of XOR gate is this. A and B are the input and Y is the output and you also know the truth table of X or Z. There are two inputs so definitely four possible combinations are there 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and for that we are having Y output 0 1 1 0. Now you know this truth table but I am going to discuss this truth table in a different fashion. Suppose T input is 0 in both the combinations A input is 0 and B input is varying 0 and 1. What will be the output? If you observe this very carefully, when A input is 0, B input remains as it is and the output Y. And next part, if A input is 1 and you apply the B input 0 and 1, you will get the complement of the B input as a Y. 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. So, here we can conclude that when one input of XOR gate is 0, Y output is the second input that is B. And if we have A input 1 or one input is 1, the second input will get complement as the 1. So, this thing we require in the designing of parallel adder cum subtractor circuit. Next. You should know the addition process in the digital. Here, when the parallel addition is there, sum is equal to A plus B. Means bit by bit we are going to perform the addition and this thing we have discussed in the last lecture of parallel adder. But when the parallel subtraction is there, when we calculate the difference and we have to perform the subtraction of B from A, in that case we take the a as it is and we are going to add the 2's complement of B. This part we have discussed at the time of sign number addition. We can write down this. How we calculate the 2's complement? By simply adding 1 into the 1's complement of that number. So this thing you we require in the designing of parallel adder cum subtractor circuit. The 4 bit parallel adder IC in the last session of parallel adder designing. We have discussed at the end that we are having IC 74LS283 for the designing of parallel adder. Now we are going to start the designing of parallel adder cum subtractor circuit. Here we are going to design the 4 bit binary adder cum subtractor circuit which produces either the addition or the subtraction of two numbers depending upon the input which you have applied. And here the Selection bit is A bar S. A is for adder, S is for subtractor and bar indicates here it is negative active. Means when you apply that pin as a 0, it that circuit will act as a adder circuit and when you apply that pin as a 1, the circuit will act as a subtractor circuit. Now, we have draw this circuit. This is the circuit for adder comes subtractor for 4 bit operation and the main part here you have to see this is the bit A bar S this bit will work as a selection bit whether you want to use this circuit as a adder circuit or a subtractor circuit. Let the 4 bit binary numbers A and B we are going to use and in this if the addition process is there we are going to add A and B where A is A3, A2, A1, A0 and B is B3, B2, B1, B0 and when we use the subtraction process at that time this B is supposed to be subtracted from A and as I have already discussed A bar S if it is 0 then this circuit will work as a 4 bit binary adder circuit and if A bar S is equal to 1 this circuit will work as a 4 bit binary subtractor circuit. Now, we will discuss this parallel adder cum subtractor circuit 
with some examples. Now first we will discuss how it works as a adder circuit. To work this circuit as a 4 bit binary adder circuit, this A bar S bit should be 0. Means when we apply this bit as a 0, this circuit will work as a adder circuit. Now we will take one example. We have to add A and B, these two numbers we consider 7 and 5. And definitely we will get the addition of these two numbers s is equal to 12 and this we see how we got that a is written as 0 1 1 1 and b is written as 0 1 0 1. these two numbers bit by bit if we consider but the main part here we add s or we have to apply this a bar s bit as a 0 and when we apply this a01 b01 a11 and b10 a21 and b21 a30 and b30 this way if we add this input what will happen as a bar s bit is 0 this bit it is get applied to one input of the xor gate and as the one input of xor gate is 0 we have discussed in the previous part that when one input of XOR gate is 0, the another input will be the output of that XOR gate. It remains as it is. So definitely we will get here 1. As one input of this XOR gate is 0, definitely this B1 will appear at the output side. So we got here 0. Then we apply one bit here 0. So this one will be appear at the output side and one input of this XOR gate is 0, this B3 will appear at the output of this. C in bit is 0, as this A bar S bit is directly connected to C in, so C in bit we got 0. Now we are having A01 for this first full adder, and this one is appear at the output of this XOR gate. So 1 is my B0, A0 is 1, B0 is 1, and C in is 0. So definitely we will get some 0 and carry 1. Now this carry it is get applied to the next full adder circuit and we are having A11, B10 and C in 1. So we got S10 and output carry is 1. Now we are having here C in 1, A21 and B2 is appear here at the output of this XOR gate. So all three bits are 1, so we will get the S2 output 1 and carry bit 1. Now we are having A3 bit applied as a 0. This B3 is appear at the output of this XOR gate as a 0 and C in bit 1. So definitely we will get S3 is equal to 1 and C out is equal to 0. So this is the output which we got. If we, if we perform the addition of these two numbers here, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 we got the carry 1, 1 plus 1 plus 0, we got 0, carry bit 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, we got summation 1 and carry zero, carry 1, 1 plus 0 plus 1, we got this 1. Now, if we check output of this parallel adder circuit, 1100, 0, 0, this will represent the addition S is equal to 12. This is how this circuit is act as a parallel adder. Now we consider the example subtractor circuit. So for that purpose, definitely this A bar S bit should be 1. As A bar S is equal to 1, and we consider one example that we have to subtract this 5 from this 7. But simply in truth complement method, what we will do as we have to subtract B from A, so we will take the negative B or we will find out the 2's complement of B and we are going to add that negative 5 into this A and this A is 7. So in 2's complement method how we perform the subtraction we will take the first number as it is and we take and we are going to add the 2's complement of the second number into the first one and that way we will get the subtraction 2 and how it is now simple we will consider A is equal to 7 that is 0 1 1 1 now we have 5 positive 5 0 1 0 1 and as we have to find out here the 2's complement means the negative 5. First we will take the 1's complement of this number 
that this one becomes zero, zero becomes one, one becomes zero, and zero becomes one. This way we find out the ones complement number. And to get the twos complement, simply we will add one, and we got the number here one, one, zero, one. And this is nothing but a twos complement of this five. And twos complement means it is a negative five which we have found. And this minus five. Now we are going to add with plus seven. So here we write down one zero one 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 zero one one here, and we are going to perform the simple addition by using this adder circuit. So one plus one is zero. We got the carry one. One plus one plus one, we got one carry one. One plus one zero carry one. One plus one, we got zero and carry one. Okay. Now we discard that carry and we got the output here. Now in the circuit, how it is supposed to be performed? Definitely a bar s bit is equal to one. As we have to use this circuit as a subtractor circuit, and this a bar s is equal to one, it is get applied to one input of every XOR gate as a one. So this bit bit becomes one, this bit becomes one, this bit becomes one, and this bit becomes one. So when we apply the input a a zero b zero one one. A1, B1, 1, 1. As we are having two numbers, seven and five, so we are going to apply these two numbers at the input of my A and B. But as one input of XOR gate is one, we will get the complement of every bit. As we have discussed that part, one where one input of the XOR gate is one, the another bit will be get complemented. So this one becomes zero here, this zero becomes one here, this one becomes zero here, and this zero becomes one here. Now, as this bit is one, it is get connected to the C in bit. So C in bit becomes one. We have here A zero bit one, B zero is get complemented. So we got here zero, and C in is one. Now when we perform this addition, zero, one, one, we got the sum bit zero and carry bit one. Now we are having this bit one, this bit one, and this bit is also one. So one plus one plus one, we got sum one, carry zero. Now here, this bit is one. We are having this bit zero, and this C out of the previous bit is acting as a C in bit here, input one. So zero, one, one. We got sum zero and carry one. Now we have here this bit zero. This is this bit B three. It is get complemented. We got one and C in bit one. So it is one zero one is the input for this full adder. So we got sum zero and carry one. Now, if we check this output, if we check this output, we got the output s is equal to two for the subtraction of this five from seven. So seven minus five, we got two, and this circuit is working as a subtractor circuit. So this way, we have finished the designing of parallel adder cum subtractor circuit. Thank you.